This is Updater Analytics running on the bar chart feed and uh, we see here uh, it's a really great feed, comes in in real time um, and we've got uh, the classic sort of updater screens. Uh, the key way to um, configure your um, bar chart is to um, is to set it uh, down here in the um, data feeds and you'll see that bar charts one of our feed options so um, in your updater system you can just go and select bar chart and if you've already got a bar chart account then you can just enter your credentials and um, away you go so key thing is uh, to have a have a look at the bar chart feed and and see for yourself uh, it's a really good um, option for looking at data and of course updater adds that power to the bar chart data here I've got my weekly daily and and 60 minute charts all filtering through in updata so my 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 standard screens that i use um, I use these running on lots of different feeds, whether it be Bloomberg or Reuters or, or whatever. But again, bar charts are a very, very cost-effective way. And here I've got my NASDAQ list. Uh, and if you want to go and grab these screens, um, just look in our um, layouts library and you'll find there an entry for bar chart where you can download uh, different uh, layouts. So um, really, really useful um, way of um, getting up and running uh, with the feed very, very quickly. Um, and so I'm running through my um, my uh, NASDAQ stocks here and you'll see how super quick Updater is at accessing all these uh, price histories. And also I've got here on, the, um, on my uh, currencies as well. So again, really, really fast and, and good at that. Of course, Updater has a whole range of functionalities, charts, functions, uh, completely you know every uh, technical analysis function you'll ever find all the different chart types uh, to the point where you can just uh, type in any code in bar chart or you can actually just open a uh, a chart and simply in updater press the T key and you'll get all the trends and targets instantly on any chart so again that's really really valuable and a lot of people um, like using our, our point and figure which is really the best in the world for that uh, if you want to do scanning again updater is really really powerful for, for that um, and we can just set up a scan so we could actually just write a new scan and so what I could say is I want to look at all the different uh, types of scans so you can uh, go for different indicators you can scan pretty well any technical indicator you can think of um, you can also uh, scan for um, different custom indicators which we'll look at point and figure price targets this is a really really valuable one and um, uh, different patterns so you can scan for head and shoulders patterns for example uh, divergence is a very interesting one so we could for scan for um, let's say we want to find stocks that have got divergence with their 14 day RSI so we can just add that condition of course you can add multiple conditions and we can save and run that and uh, we'll call that a divergence scan um, and we simply save and run that choose our bar chart list i've got lots of different lists in my system but here is the bar chart nasdaq 100 again you'll find that list in our um, quote screen libraries and away we go and you'll see how super quick it is at running through those hundred histories and now we're just going to scroll the results and see um, the different divergences for ourselves so we see uh, stock price rising RSI falling divergence is a really hard thing to um, to scan for uh, and also you can scan for different um, uh, uh, as targets so for example we want to find stocks that have got uh, upside here we're just scanning a list um, of r results where we've got stocks that have got upside greater than 20% so again we see here there's just 17 stocks in the NASDAQ this new one has come in so that's quite interesting we can just go to the stocks that are giving us those upside targets and uh, that's a really valuable scan this one's just popped in today because we've broken to a new upside so that's quite key um, and, and really useful. Updater has a whole series of other tools um, in terms of our automation. You can run reports, you can create uh, your own alerts. Um, it even has a custom coding module and uh, this is again a very 
popular thing for back testing. If we go to uh, a layout, here we can see a test and we can actually just run a, a quick test for ourselves. So if we go to the custom coding menu, menu you can download from our libraries. We've got over a thousand different pre-written custom indicators and trading systems and you can go and have a quick look at these before you download them um, and the same with uh, trading strategies so if I go and choose one that I've already downloaded which is an RSI system here's the code for it here are the parameters you can write your own code either in updater's own language or C Sharp or Visual Basic. And, um, and so what we can do here is we can just run a quick test. So let's say we want to run this um, and I want to optimize the parameters that are in my code here of the RSI. So I can say I want to optimize between three and 21 days. And because I'm not sure about the buy and sell levels of the RSI, I want to also optimize those and set them to 20, 30, 40, just in case there's a better level than the standard uh, 30, uh, 60 level. And I can literally enter those codes, go uh, select an instrument, um, so I can run it on, it remembers the codes that you've already typed in, so I'm going to run this on uh, dollar yen, and literally uh, you can choose the time frames. I could run it on intraday data, um, set up commission costs, and I run my scan. And so this is a quick pass. It's running through uh, six, uh, six passes to get the results. And we'll see here in a minute, this is uh, just running exhaustive tests. I'm already getting an idea that the results, and this has produced the top 10 results. And what's interesting here are all the trades of those results all my sharp ratios, the various tools that I want. But I'm seeing here that I get a lot of trades on this uh, second system. So I'm going to optimize, look at that system. I've got 159 trades and I can literally then go to the chart. Here is my equity curve um, and it's telling me to use a six day RSI. 30 and 70 are the levels to use here. And we're seeing the equity curve in the bottom um, and the currency uh, pair. So that's just how you can do very back test um, back tests on the data, the scanning, um, a whole series of um, powerful functions. So it's really worth taking a look at the bar chart feed in your updater system. Why not give it a try today?